Hey guys, welcome back to the next video. This time, it is a product from Zalman. It is the Alpha 2, and it is a 360mm AIO in white, as you can see. Right then, so this is the Alpha 2 A36 from Zalman. So let's unbox this and take a good look at it. It's a 360mm rad, and it's in white. So... Here's the documentation. This is the user manual, it tells you everything you need to know. This does have a uh, display on it as well. Ooh. Oh. Right, so have a look what comes in the accessories first. So, it's the installation kit. Okay, so it does come with Zalman thermal paste. And then this is all the bracketry you need for installing it. So it's for AM5 and LJ, 1700 of course, but of course this would fit uh, AM4 as well because they are backwards compatible. Let's get this out now and have a look at the AIO. Have a look. Let's have a look at this display first. Because this is what I'm actually looking forward to. So that is the display. It does just display the temperature, so a coolant temp. But I will say it feels really nice. I like the pump house block. Does this come off? Yes, it does. So you can adjust it to... Let's have a look. Yeah, it goes on each anyway. So that's good. You can adjust that. Let's have a take a look at the rad now as well. And the fans that are included. So this is a... Oh, wow. Oh, look at those. Oh, I really like these. Look at that. Now, they have got a frame and they've got these little fins, so it should help with directing the airflow. It's a standard radiator with no branding on it, unfortunately. Well, I've got a QR code, and that's pretty much it. So, now, yeah, it does have a display on it. That's just to do the temperature. So, let's get this installed and see how it goes. Oh, and that is front panel USB 2 so let's get it get this installed This is the Zalman Alpha 2 360mm AIO. This is fan speed noise at 50%. Can barely hear it. This is 100% fan speed. Okay, this is the pump noise at 50%. You can barely hear it. This is at 100% pump speed. Right then, so these are the thermals. I've got four thermal benchmarks, my normal run, Cinebench R23, Blend Classroom, Blend BMW, and 3D Mark CPU test. So I did record the ambient air in the room. It was 21 Celsius before I started testing, and the CPU used is a Ryzen 9 7900 with PBO enabled and the 
total amount of wattage this did draw during the testing was 186 watts so let's go Cinebench R23 the idle to 29 celsius with a max of 84 Blender Classroom the idle to 29 celsius with a max of 82 Blender BMW the idles were 29 celsius with a max of 68 and 3D Mark CPU test the idles were 29 celsius with a max of 71 celsius and for the testing the room did heat up by one degree okay so you saw the unboxing part at the beginning yeah it's white it looks fantastic yeah it does yes my head is wet before anyone says anything i've just come up the bath and yes i had bubbles don't judge me saw the gorgeous b-roll i captured you've also seen the thermals as well as i've heard the fan noise at 100 and 50 percent, and also the pump now yeah the pump and the fans, they sound like jet turbines blow it going off. Yes, they do at 100%. But if you do lower the pump and the fan speeds, they do, the noise does go down. So that's a good thing. Thank you. Zalman, if anyone has actually heard of Zalman back in the early 2000s, they were known for the flower type cooler. I'll put a picture up here. But they, that's where they were known. They, that's one of the first air coolers I ever saw or ever owned was an old Zalman cooler. They used to sell a flower type one and I thought that they'd gone away. But I found out online that they hadn't. So, so I messaged them. I said, can I get an AIO? And they said, yeah, of course. So they sent me out an AIO. And to be honest, I was quite surprised. I do like the pump housing. That is accurate through hardware info download that's free but that is accurate at the moment i'm running something in the background on my computer so that's why the idles are rather high but it is am5 so yeah one of them things they do tend to run a bit uh, high at uh, idle because of the voltage spikes so i i did experience that with my 59x so that's just one of them things but it's a good aio yeah it's, it's a little bit loud personally but i've been using it in my personal main system for well since i got it and to be honest i have noticed with 50 percent fan speed and gaming and stuff it hasn't really been an issue when it comes to thermals the only time really that you're going to peg the cpu is if you're doing cpu bound tasks but you're not going to really do that in games unless you're playing a simulation type game that tends to hog up the cpu but that's just that i'd like to say thank you to zalman i really do appreciate it they do have a lot more different uh products on their website coolers aios cases power supplies they've got a lot of stuff so like i said they've got loads of stuff they uh they have loads of different products on their website i'll put the link down for that down below and for this particular aio it gets my thumbs up it performed very well it looks nice and i like the sh the shroud on the aio which can be taken off you just unclip it and it and then it magnetized back on that is it so yeah look big thank you to zalman this is richard from welsh tech don't forget to subscribe because i've got so much stuff coming on my word got a pc bill coming at the end of the month i've got loads of stuff here that i need to make videos about i've still got stuff that i need to make videos about when it comes to thermal grizzly i got thermal right stuff coming i've got stuff here from valkyrie and there's still one particular item coming from yeston yes the graph card yeah them so make sure you subscribe and this is richard from welsh tech i hope you guys have a fantastic weekend and week ahead of you good bye